first came to the Amazon, the forest was like a dream, a beautiful mystery. The faces of the children never left me. Yara, her face bright with paint. Mochira, so proud of her necklace. Arildo, always curious about my camera. Years ago, on a film crew, I photographed the children of the Surui tribe, the Negarote tribe, and the Robert Tappers, who came to harvest rubber and made the forest their home. I also saw destruction. The road that took me to the forest separated the native people from their past and changed forest life forever. These children, born into the chaos of change, inspired a Robert Tapper named Chico Mendes to fight to save the biggest forest on Earth. I look at these pictures after 15 years and wonder what has become of these children? What forces have shaped their lives? And how is their fate in so distant a place connected to ours? I had to go back. I'm <laughs> 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 Ela falou que ela gostaria. Since my last visit, the children have grown and the village has changed. Before, families lived together in traditional longhouses. Now they live separately in smaller houses made of wood. Desde que eu vim aqui há 15 anos atrás, o que que mudou? É, mudou a aldeia, né? A aldeia tá diferente. Porque o tempo da floresta que é lindo mesmo, mas agora tá com tá lindo para mim não. Tempo da Floresta Forest Time The way life was Before the road Before the outsiders came 
before the forest began to disappear. The Amazon forest. Millions of acres untouched. The largest reserve of fresh water on Earth. home to a third of all plant and animal species on the planet. Source of 20% of the world's oxygen. A complex world whose fate is inseparable from our own. Tempo da floresta, forest time is disappearing. E naquela época, quando o pessoal começou a explorar é, madeira na nossa área, nós tinha 24 anos de contato. Muita gente não falava em português ainda, né? E, e quando levava muitos presentes, muito é, é, roupa, muito mercadoria para a área indígena, eles achavam que o pessoal era, era bom, né? Tinha algumas coisas interessadas na madeira deles, né? Logging is illegal on Indian land. But loggers bribe local officials for access to the forest. Since my last visit, most of the hardwood trees on Sri land have been cut down. And much of the wood has been sent abroad to make furniture and floors. Aí ela aproveita, né? Se quem sabe cubica não aproveita, né? Tira até a árvore da fruta mesmo. Aí que acaba a fruta da suruí índio assim. E por que que tira tanta árvore, você acha? Não sei, eu não sei. And the children must learn to walk the path between two worlds.